Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I hope you're doing well. Now, I want to take a look at this big spin that's actually going to dive a little bit more toward the south, toward the Caribbean the next few days and really influence our weather. That's actually going to help to pull through a front for our northern zones later this week. I want to look at the winds, the wave heights, and even touch upon the upcoming hurricane season. Here's a closer look. We've had some scattered clouds around in spots, Guyana, Suriname, uh, Trinidad, and Tobago overnight. We have those scattered clouds kind of pushing off. Off, uh, to the east, but watching up to the north, again, some shower activity here with the tail end of a front that spin up to the north, and we'll keep an eye on that next front. I'll show you how that plays into our forecast throughout the week. So let me start with the big picture. We have one front across the U.S., dipping down toward the Gulf of Mexico. Here's this spin near Bermuda, bringing us some wet weather near Bermuda, some gusty winds, the high seas, even some gusty winds, the Bahamas back towards southeast, uh, the southeast U.S. But look at that spin, how it kind of drifts down to the south, not tropical in nature or anything like that. But as this drifts down to the south, it is going to influence our winds and it will play into this front here. This is by Tuesday. Look at this front here. It starts to sink in toward Florida and the Northern Bahamas by the time we get into Wednesday. Here's the spin. It will be diminishing, but it will bring us some winds out of the north for a time in our northern zones. I'll zoom down in a moment, but look at Thursday as this spin kind of pulls off uh, toward the east. It allows this from to move by parts of the Bahamas, Cuba, near the Cayman Islands, even down toward Belize. Uh, this front a little bit deeper than we typically see for this time of year. And then we'll keep an eye on another system moving into the Pacific Northwest of the U.S. and into Canada. So here's the closer look. Then I'll get to the winds and the wave heights. Now for today with the tail end of a front, Puerto Rico back through the Dominican Republic, an elevated chance of rain. We'll have some scattered showers around even the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, a chance of some showers watching over toward Antigua, Barbuda, and Guilla, we may get a couple around. So better chance for today. Then as we work our way into our Tuesday, you see there's that front moving into the Gulf of Mexico. A couple extra rain showers, Costa Rica, Panama. We've been seeing the pattern shifting where we've had a few more showers around. Mainly dry in Trinidad and Tobago. I've been keeping an eye on those wildfires. But there's that spin just to the north as we work our way into Wednesday. There's the front moving into Florida, Cuba, Cayman Islands, near Belize, Yucatan, and Mexico. Go. Even Honduras, a better chance of some showers over by Orotan as we work our way into Thursday. And then with this spin here, we could see a few showers and some gusty winds in the northern Caribbean later this week. So here are the winds. Now ahead of the front in the U.S., winds are out of the south in the Gulf of Mexico. But here is that spin in Bermuda. We're going to see some of the winds near Bermuda gusting to 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers an hour, right there in that kind of white shading. Now that area of low pressure, that storm system, it will be diminishing, but it will start to work its way down to the south. With it over here, that means more of that northerly breeze tomorrow, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. And then as we get into later in the week on Wednesday, you see that spin right there giving us that northerly breeze throughout uh, the southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, through Haiti, the DR, and Puerto Rico. And then that spin starts to work its way off to the east. And then we watch out for that next front. I mentioned how it's going to help pull in the next front. So southeast U.S., back toward the Gulf of Mexico. Look at these northerly winds on Thursday in Cuba. We could see this front sink a little bit more to the south than we would typically find a front for this time of year. Now, as far as the wave heights go, they are going to be cranking up. Uh, you see again in the Atlantic waters, watching over toward the Bahamas, north side of Puerto Rico, Haiti, and the DR. We're going to be looking at some of those seas over three uh, meters, uh, which would be anywhere from about upwards of about 10 plus feet uh, easily. So things as a whole in the Atlantic, because of that storm system out there, those seas are going to be really elevated. You see meters here on the scale, feet on the right-hand side of your screen, doing my best to keep everyone one covered. Uh, Caribbean, uh, the uh, wave heights as we work our way into midweek. This is Wednesday, not too high, but again, everything elevated in the Atlantic waters uh, as we go throughout really all the way through the end of the week. Now, quick look here with a couple systems making a run at uh, parts of uh, Canada, North, uh, the Atlantic region of Canada and the Northeast US. See by tomorrow, we're gonna see a batch of some uh, rain showers working in. And then here's that next front that will get closer. This is Wednesday, mainly a rain event for the Northeast uh, US. And then seeing some of that rain even stretching over toward uh, Newfoundland. We could see a little bit of 
of a mix of some sleet or some snow mixing in with a little cold air on the back side of it. But as we work our way into Thursday, another surge of moisture. So it is going to be active in the Atlantic region of Canada. Now, what is typically not active this time of year? That's a hurricane season because we're not even in the hurricane season. That starts June 1st and runs through the end of November. The peak of the season is in September. But I do bring this up because I want you to know I'm watching things now. Uh, occasionally, we get a, a named system before June 1st, so even before the beginning of the season. And we're just about a couple months away at this uh, point. Water temperatures are warm, so I'll monitor that. As we look at the upcoming hurricane season, the first name on the list is Alberto, then Beryl, Chris, Debbie, or Ness. Francine and then Gordon after that. We'll see how far we get down the list uh, and we'll see where these systems will go. Hopefully they stay over the water, but again, a wait and see. But I do expect kind of a, an earlier start to the hurricane season uh, this, uh, this year. All right, Jamaica for us. Passing shower possible and then we'll watch later this week to see how close that front gets. Same thing as we get through the Cayman Islands. We're going to see that front nearby later this week. Trinidad and Tobago watching the wildfires. We've had some ash around. I'm going to monitor that. The lower air quality Quality. Passing shower in Barbados, but a slightly better chance tomorrow and Wednesday for us in St. Lucia. Rain chance is going to be up to about 40%, 10 to 20% chance in Grenada. Tomorrow and Wednesday, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we're looking at some isolated showers, a 30% chance. And you see that 40% chance today and tomorrow in Martinique and in Dominique. It's not all day stuff, but a better chance of some showers scattered about as well as we get into Guadeloupe, about a 30% chance, 40% chance, 30 to 40% chance, Antigua and Barbuda, and a 30% chance the next couple days, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. Keep me posted on what you get or what you don't get. And Gwilla and St. Bart's, we could get some passing showers. Rain chance 40% tomorrow. St. Martin, Saba, Stacia, we're looking at a 30% chance, upwards of a 50 to 60% chance of some of the scattered showers today in Puerto Rico. Scattered showers possible the next few days, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, and in the Dominican Republic, that elevated chance today. Haiti passing shower rain chance the next couple days 20% and about a 10 to 20% chance in the Bahamas same thing Turks and Caicos rain chance is not too high Cuba we're kind of in between systems we'll watch out for that front that will move in later this week same thing in Belize late week rain chance will bump up some even over toward uh, the Yucatan of Mexico not too high but the rain chance will be a little higher Aruba Curacao and Bonaire mainly dry conditions with us not much in the uh, rain uh, department uh, Bermuda again Again, watching that system nearby today, the higher chance of rain, higher seas, and the gusty winds. Still that system giving us gusty winds tomorrow. Costa Rica, Panama, rain chance about 40 to 50%. As we work our way into Guyana and Suriname, about a 10 to 20% chance of a shower, 30% chance by midweek in Suriname, and a 10 to 20% chance in northern Venezuela. So it is getting a little busier. That Atlantic spin dropping down that could kind of pull in that front later this week. I'll monitor those wildfires and any earthquakes out there. And of course, hurricane season, that starts June 1st. So thank you so much for spending your time with me. And I hope you have a good rest of your day.